Welcome guys to part 2 of watching me build an ARF Airy. Uh, in this part we are basically going to be finish off the Airy and we are going to be starting with the servos on the wings. Um, just before I do the stop motion movie for you, I have uh, already assembled the first wing um, by gluing in with the CA hinges the aileron fitting the servo as well as the control linkage uh, rods. Um, just one thing that I want to make clear is that as with the helicopter the setup on the servos um, on the wing as well as the tail, the rudder, all the rest of it um, also needs to follow the 90 degree rule. Um, so what you would do is you would also find the servo horn that fits the closest to 90 degrees um, on the server and then as well as uh, you need to have your 90 degrees on your um, push rod towards the servo arm as you can see it's nice and 90 degrees so it goes up goes 90 degrees and goes 90 degrees back into the servo um, when you assemble the the aileron onto the body what I normally do is I take uh, masking tape like this and I'll just peel a piece off to show you I center the aileron and I paste a piece on like this to keep the aileron in place when you work on your uh, horn for your servo the other important part that you need to remember is that the holes on your the horn that fits to the control surface the holes needs to be on the join there where the hinges are needs to be on the join not to this side not to that side okay so if you fit it further in or further out uh, what's going to happen is that your aileron is going to move more up less down or less down and more up and you want your aileron to move say one centimeter that side and one centimeter this side so it has to be the same Okay, so without further ado, I'm just going to reposition the camera a little bit higher and then we'll show you the stop motion movie. Okay, so I've finished installing the servos onto the wing of the little aircraft. Uh, now it's time to install the servos uh, on the elevator and rudder of the little plane. Um, once again, when you install the servo, everything has to be 90 degrees. Okay, and then the, uh, uh, the servo horn's little holes has got to be in the middle of where the, the, the sections, the moving sections, uh, joins to the static sections. Um, another thing which I didn't say earlier on is that the push rods, uh, when you install the push rods, it's always wise to use a little bit of silicone tubing and uh, once it's everything is assembled, just put it over your clevis to prevent it from opening up. Okay, so I'm going to be installing the, the elevator and the rudder uh, servos now and uh, yeah, have a look at the stop motion movie to see how it goes.
so I've now fixed the servos for the rudder and for the elevator. And as you saw, it's all working now. Um, to test it, I used this uh, Turnigy uh, servo test that I got off the Wi-Fi website. Next thing I'm going to be doing is affix the little tail wheel uh, that will be linked to the rudder so, I, so the little plane can steer easier. Now, the one thing that you need to know when you fix the, the tail wheel is that the swivel part of the little wheel needs to be on the swivel part of the uh, the rudder. Okay, so if it's too far back, um, it'll put some pressure on the on the wheel. So the wheel has to be the swivel part of the wheel has to be um, right on the swivel part of the rudder. Okay, so once I've done that, um, I'm going to be putting in the windows as well, um, and then. I'll speak to you afterwards. Okay, so I've glued in the little windows now, uh, taking care not to get some epoxy on the outside. Uh, if there is epoxy on the outside, clean it off with a little uh, cloth soaked in uh, methylated spirits. The last thing that needs to happen now is I need to finish mounting the motor. You can see the motor I've already put in, uh, but I've got to uh, secure the engine mount. Put in the speed controller, put the cowl on, put the prop on, as well as cut the ventilation hole uh, in the back of the aircraft. Uh, with electrical aircraft, it's always a good uh, practice to make sure there's a nice ventilation hole in the back, especially if you're using high current speed controllers. Um, I'll be using a 60 amp energy speed controller, also from the Wi-Fi site. Um, so yes, once this is done, the only thing that remains is to put the little cover on the top there. And uh, yes, put the electronics and the battery in and then I'm done. So guys, thanks for taking this time to watch this movie with me. And enjoy this last bit of assembly that I'm going to be doing with this little aircraft. Um, I will be posting a maiden flight uh, on YouTube. And uh, watch the Wi-Fi site for that. Cheers. Take me up, baby